recording is on. I do hope that this training uh, gives you some more perhaps, you know, oomph in, in your business, but more importantly, for the brand new person who just launched in your business, again, um, uh, the, the, the top two trainings I recommend to people, of course, is going to be the approaching training and the tripod of belief training. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen. And that is done. And I'm going to maximize this. So, uh, yeah, so here we go, guys. It's a tripod of belief uh, training. And so let's get right into it. Um, and again, this all comes back down to the mindset because. If someone, if you truly have the right mindset in this business and you believe 100,000% with conviction, with no doubt in the mind that you sharing this opportunity will empower someone else in some shape or form, either through health, through wellness, or beauty, just like me, <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Um, if you really believe that, then you will not be shy in sharing. So what makes the difference between someone who truly believes versus someone who kind of believes, is a person that truly believes as you're going out into you know, their daily life, going to buy groceries, going to go pump gas, going to you know, pick up their kids from school. You know, they're trying to share with every single person they come across, and that's me. You know, every single person, I'm not even joking, that I, I come across, I'm trying to prospect and share and invite that person. You know, I'll share a really quick story. Um, uh, I shared it on Wednesday that I'm really involved, of course, with my children because you know, with me and my dad, we didn't have much time together. And so um, I actually applied because uh, uh, my kid's school had this opening for a co-chair, which is uh, their parent association. And, you know, it's, it's a group where parents can collectively combine and share ideas and, and be part of the kids' schools. And so I, I applied. Um, but long story short, you know, um, I had to present myself in front of all these parents. And, and to make a long, long story short, um, you know, I was voted the co-chair, which is great. Uh, but the, the, the other main reason why I wanted to be part of the co-chair was not just because of being more involved in my kids' schools, but also because I thought, now all the parents will know me, <laughs> and now I can share this opportunity with every single parent that I come across in my son's schools, right? So, again, mindset is everything. It, it, it determines your behavior. Yes. Write that down. Mindset will determine your behavior. So, the right mindset, you have the right behavior. The wrong mindset, the wrong behavior. So... Um, you know, we have all these different reminders for you guys, like halt. Again, if you're hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, you don't want to be out there. But again, you know, um, the belief, uh, if you have belief in what you do, it doesn't matter if you, if you were feeling hungry or angry, lonely, or tired, you will just get into the right mindset and start sharing. So, um, the tripod, what is a tripod? There's three main areas in the tripod. One of course is belief in the industry. Um, and Especially for your prospects that it's their first time being in network marketing, you definitely want to have them watch at least this part of the training, which is belief in the industry. Uh, the second part is belief in the company. Mm -hmm. So some of us, you know, do love the idea of network marketing and we understand it, but we don't really even truly believe in the opportunity that we're selling. That's right. Maybe we got bought into someone's big paycheck and we thought it must be good, but we don't truly 100% believe in the company. And so that's the second part that we'll talk about today. And the third part, sometimes the most toughest one is belief in yourself. yourself. Yeah. Um, however, I think most people who are actually on this call and you know, in the company, they had some amount of belief in themselves to decide to get started. Otherwise, you wouldn't have got started in the first place because you don't even believe in yourself. So that's actually not usually the, the, the challenge with people who are in this training with us today. So, um, and again, it's called a tripod because, you know, if, if two of the, of the three areas are very strong and very stable, but one of the three areas is a bit faltering or a bit weak, mm. what's gonna happen is um, the, the, the shorter leg will be your biggest downfall. And the shortest leg can even topple your entire business. And so you wanna make sure that you have solid belief in all three areas, belief in the industry, of network marketing, belief in the company, and belief in yourself. And so those are the three different areas that you definitely want to make sure you guys can you know, really um, uh, solidify here. So um, talking about belief in the industry, and take some notes down here, right? Understand that there's no other industry that has created more millionaires than direct sales. So if you want to become wealthy, here, here's my, my training process, right? Here's the different ways you can become a millionaire. Either you win the lottery, 
which less than 0.001% of you guys will forget that idea because it's just not going to happen, right? I mean, you've, how many lottery tickets have you ever bought, right? So just forget that concept, right? Winning the lottery. Uh, the second way of becoming a millionaire is you inherit the wealth. So if your parents, if you guys on the call, if your parents are not multimillionaires, then forget that because you're not going to inherit that money from someone else, right? Okay. Uh, the third way of, of becoming a multimillionaire is you marry someone who's a multimillionaire. <laughs> and there's already a lack of multimillionaires in the world, so, and there's a lot of us trying to get married, and a lot of us on the call are already married, so forget that idea. You don't want to divorce, and you know, it's not, it's not the right motive to, to marry someone for the money, right? So, so there goes that area. Uh, and, and of course, so the only other way of becoming a millionaire is by building a business. And we already understand that in having a generic business, like a brick and mortar business, I mean, just understand this, right? And I always give this point of reference to my prospects. So if, I, if my prospect is telling me, I want to make more money, but I don't want to do network marketing, well, here's your other option then. Go brick and mortar business. And if you do that, you know, stats have shown 85% of all businesses in the first two to three years, what happens? They go bankrupt. They go down, right? And so, you know, when people tell me the objection, well, Renee, you know, I heard in MLM, not everyone makes money. My response is, that's his business. I mean, if, if we had this many people, you know, do a regular business, even more of them would have less success, less success, right? More of them would actually have a bigger risk. They would lose more money. And so again, one of the, the other benefits here I'm talking about is low risk. Uh, the, the fifth point here, low risk, because again, you know, when you're talking to your prospects about belief in the industry and they're challenging you with the potential objection that not many people succeed, no, there's more success of people in network marketing than there is in regular businesses, right? And so, but here's the big thing. If you were to, to let's say you were to fail, this is the absolute worst case scenario you started your MLM business, what's the absolute worst that could happen for you? Well, if you had in our business, a diamond package, you paid 1284 plus taxes. Mm -hmm. The worst that could happen for you is you got all that money back in products. Mm -hmm. You didn't actually lose a dime. Good. Yeah, for a business, right? Sure. Um, when me and Heidi decided to open uh, three nail salons in Taiwan, thinking, you know, we're gonna go delve into the brick and mortar business now and give that a try, right? <laughs> You know, because she loved doing nails. And again, long story short, it costed about $100,000 to renovate, first of all, and to buy all the equipment for the fancy UV lighting, all the gel, polished acrylic, uh, you know, the big machines where you put your feet in and bubbles your feet in. You know, and, and in short, it costs a lot of money that is not even available to most people. And that's the second point, is no opportunity allows for a small investment in the limited returns. Folks, if, if having a regular business was so easy, you all would have done it by now, right? So again, it's just not available to majority of the population. So with the uh, nail salon, after basically trying to make it survive for a year, um, you know, we had to make at least $6,000 per month for rent and for, and for employees. And I'm not even factoring in the fact that I didn't realize how many colors of the rainbow there were. Yeah, you know, I was like nail polishes, oh my goodness. I mean, like, you know, Hadi will show me, you know, baby, which color of red do you like? I'm like, they're all red. They're all, like, I, I can't tell the difference. Like, no, there's, there's like this red. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. So, you know, you know your computer, you have those charts where you can see the color of your, of your, of your, of your font. And they had the default. If you go to more options, there's like a whole circle of like a million dots of red. red. Yeah, so. So, I mean, folks, you know, if traditional business was that easy, you would have done it by now, right? And that, that's why we're all here. So the, the key benefits of MLM is, again, <clears throat> it's created more millionaires than any other industry. So if you're going to pick an industry to be in, this is the one to have your chance of becoming a millionaire, right? Again, small investment. And here's the key thing. I mean, in my nail salon, I had to make six grand a month minimum to maintain my business, mm -hmm. right? In GWT, what's the maximum investment I must make in my business to maintain my commissions? That's 150. 150. 
But you see, when I paid rent for my nail salon in Taiwan, the three thousand dollars for the rent, did I get anything back long term? No. No, that money went to the landlord, no. right? Here, you're one fifty. Like, oh my goodness, the one fifty you got for buying products. I mean, I hope you guys realize in this business, in GWT especially, it's it's a free business because if you already buy shoes and you wear shoes, or if you want to be healthy, you take products. We sell those things, right? Just so happens we're the only company that has what people already want mm. and what they need, both, yes. right? We have the fashion that everyone wants, right? And of course, the health and, and beauty that we all want and need as well, too. So, the other benefit, of course, is that's your own time, you know. So, um, you know, Heidi wanted to open a nail salon, and after she realized she'd have to be there, you know, from morning till night, mm. 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 you know, because if you trust employees to to run your till oh, properly, they'll, they'll steal money from you, there. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we even install fake cameras on the ceiling to try to discourage employees from stealing money from us. But again, you got to be there the whole day. You know, the deal with GWT is I can build this business as I travel the world, right? So it's at your own time, flexible hours. And again, you know, having a job that most people probably do have already you're already so busy, you know, you need to have a business that doesn't require you to be stuck somewhere for many hours. And that's why network marketing home-based businesses is the best thing for that. Um, of course, you know me, I probably sound like a broken record player when it comes to tax deductions with having home-based business. I mean, especially in North America, um, it's almost like you make money just by joining the business because of the, the actual tax savings, right, that we covered last week. So, and the biggest thing folks is for the brand new person who just got started in our marketing. And, and I, I always ask people this question, you know, have you ever had a previous business? And if they tell me I've never had a business before, I definitely want to go over this training with that person mm. because the mindset, you know, the reason why most people fail going into network marketing is because they, they're going from an employee mindset into a business mindset. And it's a big transition. Absolutely. Right? I mean, to go from not having a job to being a programmer, I spent many years in school to get there. So likewise, going from an employee mindset to having a business, <laughs> at least you need some training. And I tell my people, you know, if, if you don't have any experience, you know, have the right mindset, commit two to five years in this business, but have that mindset of training yourself, right? So, but again, that's where MLM and Robert Kiyosaki always says is, it's a great platform to gain your own experience in business because the worst that can happen in this business is you get products. That's it. You don't lose a big investment, right? So that is belief in the industry. And also did you realize <clears throat> that it's endorsed by billionaires? Hmm. So billionaires out there have endorsed network marketing. You know, Warren Buffett has endorsed, big time. right? I mean, he actually invests in a few companies. Uh, we, all, we all know Donald Trump, you know, definitely endorsed with uh, MLM companies. The more, I guess, uh, popular ones for sure, like Warren Buffett, would be Robert Kiyosaki. Mm -hmm. You know, the author of the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, yeah. heavily endorses network marketing. And if you, if, you, if you have not seen his video on YouTube um, called The Business of the 21st yeah. Century. I have the CDs, everything. Yeah, watch yeah. that video. Oh, so if you're, if you're a prospect or you're a brand new person joining the company, is their first time in network marketing, definitely have them watch that video, Business of the 21st Century. There's a short, you know, you don't even have to even go buy the book. You don't even have to read. They have the audio version mm -hmm. and the YouTube version online, right? And it's free. So go and, go and watch that. Um, it's a very powerful thing because Robert Kiyosaki, you know, talks about what I just talked to you about. You know, but again, he's, he's a multimillionaire, if not a billionaire as well, too. Um, Bill Clinton, the ex-president of the USA, has endorsed network marketing. He actually personally thanked <coughs> on his video. He personally thanked direct sales during the recession times in the United States. Because guys, when let, let, let's just be separate to this training. Let's just think to ourselves. When a country has a recession, and recession means that there's jobs being lost and inflation's really high, what do people do to, to make money? You know, if you don't want them to rob and create, you know, <laughs> rob stores and generate crime, what saved the economy was direct sales. 
yeah. because they can't find jobs. Jobs are not available. Yeah. I'll give Nigeria as an example, mm-hmm. right? I mean, I was just there last year with Abdul Razak. Yeah. I mean, when they, they, you know, they had a massive recession and there's no jobs. You know, the, when the oil prices tanked by, well, I think 30%, that's a big number for a country that relies on oil. And the whole, you know, so now you have people that are literally jobless. I mean, Calgary, even Alberta. Oh, yeah. Right, Calgary downtown. When I used to drive, when I used to go there every year, was hard to find parking. And when when I went back again just last this year, it's a ghost town. I've never yeah. seen so many empty yeah. buildings it's, for lease, for lease, for lease, for sale, closure. You know, wow. you know, it's a ghost town. So imagine all these people that used to work downtown Calgary or Nigeria. Where are they now? They're so jobless. yeah. So now they need to make money. Again, they need to make money but there's no jobs available. They, they don't have an option of starting a big, big business because they don't have the money for it. What's the only other option? Legal option, direct sales, right? So that's where when the economy in a country, so when someone says, well, Renee, you know I mean? How can you do business in Nigeria? It's a, it's a very poor country. No, it's because it's a poor country that we thrive. So network marketing in general, direct sales in general, when the economy is going down, network marketing goes up. It just so happens that right now, it's like almost every country is going down. I mean, even Canada. Yeah, yeah. there's no markup there. Yeah, exactly, right? Even in Canada, exactly. you know? So, again, so that's why it's such a powerful industry. And by the way, when I joined uh, Network Marketing, when I was 20, like 22, but by 25, I started researching what was the total population of people in direct sales? <clears throat> and back then, the WFDSA, so the World Federation Direct Selling Association, they published that back like more than 15, 20 years ago now, there was 65 million people in direct sales. Hmm. 65 million people globally who are participating in a form of direct sales, right? In the That's business. Time. Today, That's I checked time. again, I think last year, yeah, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's yeah. almost doubled it's to amazing. 110 yeah. million. It's growing. It's growing. Yeah. So, it works. yeah. So, if all these things are true about Ponzi schemes, okay, and those do exist, but you know, if, if, if all this negativity is, is, if you believe that stuff, then how is it possible that there's 110 million people today in direct sales, right? So network marketing is not even, in my opinion, at, at this day and age, 2017, it's not even a choice. Hmm. It's not even a leisure activity. It's more of a need. People need to have, right? I mean, and let's say that you're in Canada with me here and you have a good cushy job. Let's say you have a job that pays and, and you, I mean, the, the scary part is you can work for your whole entire life in Canada, you can hit 67, and the average CPP payout by pension is what? 600. Yeah, six to seven hundred dollars. I mean, I'll, I'll give you seven hundred. I'll give you eight hundred dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. And the only way you get eight hundred dollars is if you actually work from the age of eighteen. Right. If you really? started work, if yeah. you started working at eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Like you can. Uh, so you we're mentioned, immigrants. Oh, forget that. Yeah, yeah, forget that. Forget that. And the majority of people yeah. here. Yeah. I don't that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I look like an immigrant, yeah. but I was born here. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> the majority of us, <laughs> right? So what we're saying here is, is you know, like, like, even if I were to give you a thousand dollars a month, by by the time it's twenty years from now, yeah, it's not enough. Not no, enough. it's just not. It's, it's not enough. No, you can't even survive. today, that's what I'm saying. Even yeah. today, like right now, if they were to make one thousand dollars a month. Yeah, it's not enough. Does that cover your basic? Are you crazy? And you have kids. what about people with the kids? Yeah. All these three and four, five. Some people have eight kids, eight yeah. children. Yeah. For God's sake. I mean, okay. Oh. Even if someone was single, had no responsibilities, yeah, had their house oh, paid off, you you still need property tax. Uh, you still need home insurance, right? You, you, you still need you your car insurance. You yeah. It's the same. I don't know. So you know, this is where again, um, network marketing to me, it's not even, <coughs> I was saying before, it's not even a, a leisure thing anymore. It's a need. It's a need. And, and I hope people, you guys realize that if you've been kind of taking it easy in your business, you know, it's time to wrap things up, right? So, and again, it's not a new industry. It's been around for well over now, 70 years now, right? So it's not a new thing. And the biggest thing, of course, in our marketing is earning residual income. I. 
you know, residual income is what wealthy people make. Write that down. <coughs> wealthy people earn residual income. That's the name of the game. Whereas poor people only earn active income. They work dollar per hour. So how do you earn residual income? Well, again, being a programmer, here's what I thought. I could become a celebrity. Unfortunately, I don't have good looks. Probably a bad actor, so forget that. Um, and it's very tough to become a famous celebrity, right? Um, I love karaoke, but I can't become a professional <laughs> singer. So forget about being Justin Bieber. Oh. <laughs> Or Jay Chow for the Asian people, right? Uh, <laughs> so there's no income in, in making music because I just don't have that kind of voice. You know, become a pro athlete. Uh, I love badminton, but badminton doesn't pay in Canada. Mm. And again, it's tough to be number one in the world, right? So the only other way is real estate or businesses. And so again, residual income is what you want to be looking for. And again, in comparing all the different companies to ours, we had the highest paying residual income dollar per dollar in the industry. And I've actually documented my results and posted all my comparisons online under our GWT, right? Yeah. So again, that's just talking about the industry. So if you're still with me, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you're still with me guys, yeah, on the call. Okay, all good, all right? If you wanna give two thumbs up, it means that you like it, okay? If you don't like it, just don't do this. That's not uh -huh. cool, okay, all right? So, all right, moving along here. Uh, so that's belief in the industry. And I, I, I hope you all understand by now how important uh, it is that if you have a, someone who doesn't have that full belief in the industry, at least watch the first segment because that's so important, right? Moving on to the second part is <clears throat> belief in the company. And uh, forgive me because I just grabbed the older PowerPoint. I'll be adding a lot more cool stuff I'll be, I'll be talking along here. Belief in the company, right? Um, we don't really have a big problem with this. Mm. I think that when I got started in 2007, because we had no shoes, no handbags, no sunglasses, purses, wallets, saladium, you know, no skincare. Um, we had a bigger challenge to push the belief. And that's just normal in any new company, right? But again, um, for all you new people, again, the company is now 12 years running. Mm. So to so understand this, most companies, 85% go down in the first two to three years. Mm -hmm. Even less make it beyond five years. So if a company has been here for 10 years, Hello. it's here to stay. It's here to stay, right? Because they already had such a great foundation mm -hmm. for, for a decade. Absolutely. You've gone through the most business life cycle in a decade. Yeah. You'll survive many more decades, right? Yes. As long as you have, of course, the right ownership and the right development of products. And I got a chance to try some really cool stuff on my hands the other day. Um, I was just actually here in the <laughs> office. And I put on some things on my hand Don't and jump. it's, it's amazing. So right. there's always future developments happening in the company. Um, and of course, you know, just to share with you guys, look at all this crazy media of all the MLM companies I've seen on this planet. We have the most third party credibility than any other MLM company. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm talking about third party credibility. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about business for home. Because Business for Home talks about MLM companies, right? I'm not talking about, you know, networking times because they focus on MLM companies, right? I'm talking about third-party companies that are completely separate than network marketing. So there's, there's, there's a network marketing mm -hmm. media, you know, network, mm -hmm. networking times, Business for Home, MLM Nation, you know, GoPro, Eric Ward, all those kind of people. But then you have the third-party media that is non-MLM. So most independent third-party medias don't often like MLM media. They are very separate, right? And we have tons of that. We've got over 140 plus celebrities now <clears throat> who have wore these products. And the fact that we've been even featured in the front cover of the American Business Journal. Wow. I mean, and the, the, the issue before our CEO being featured was Warren Buffett, a billionaire on the front cover of the American Business Journal. So even when our CEO was invited to be on the front page, I think even he even told me he was like, he's like me. I mean, <laughs> he was shocked. He was shocked. Yeah, American. You know? He was actually invited. Yeah. By yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, the the big, the big versions up there. Yeah, we actually have a some. big. Um, I think. Yeah. So That's again, awesome. yeah. can you imagine this, right? Because this is an again, That's this is a big. Canadian company. And he's actually the only Canadian one. The only, yeah, the only Canadian, Canadian CEO. Only right? American. Yeah. Right. 
this is a good company it's here to stay. For sure. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, I saw yeah. the sports products that are coming up. That's going to be yes. big. Oh, by the way, folks, uh, please welcome Anne. Uh, she's actually just a brand new uh, diamond oh, consultant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, part of, uh, actually, uh, Abdul Razak is also on the call, too. So, yes, Abdul Razak, uh, meet Anne. Yeah, so in person. Yeah, so, uh, yes. yeah. So she actually launched Diamond just uh, uh, on, on Wednesday. So, yeah. Uh, literally, I called her. I said, um, uh, you know, so and so asked me to call you from Nigeria. Um, I'm really busy, but can you come to a meeting on Wednesday? She showed up and boom, she's not a member. So, <laughs> right? All through right. Facebook. Yeah. So, but again, um, my whole key point though is, you know, that, it, that in itself, it's funny, any other MLM company would have taken this alone this American Business Journal, mm -hmm. and made it their main story for months and months and months, <laughs> right? Because that's, right. that's all they have to go upon, yeah. right? Yeah. But so, so that's we, I think, we get so caught up. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and we know, but we forget to sometimes pass down the importance of this to our teams, right? Yeah, that's right? So that's, that's so huge. Yeah, so again, huge. you know, Ramin was like, really me? Uh, and of course, he's on to the blast. And so um, again, talk about that, though, yeah. um, because that's huge. So, but of course, the American Business Journal has the, 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 the sibling version, the Canadian Business Journal, that we're also part of as well, too. And that's for the business journals, right? In terms of, and also the fact that our CEO was on the Ernst & Young's uh, Entrepreneur of the Year nomination for our CEO. So e y is a very large company, Ernst & Young, and they actually gave our CEO, um, you know, Entrepreneur of the Year nomination, which is hard to get. And so... If you don't have this stuff, all this media stuff in your website under media, about, about us, then media, you can read up on all these different things, right? And, um, but also in your back office, there's actually a little thing you can order with media accolades. And so if you have a prospect that is brand new or has concerns, definitely give them a copy of that media accolade because it's jam packed with, you know, Staples Award, and I mean, so many different things here. I mean, you know, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, so again, Maria is always, always prepared here. Yes. Yeah, this thing over here is the media accolades. I mean, it has every, you know, not uh, third-party media as well as network marketing media, but all into one, you know, article cool. here. You know, we got Handbag of the Year yeah. Award, Designer of the Year Award, you know. Yes. Um, you know, the fact that our SVP, Sinas Hulman, was personally invited to be a speaker at the Woman of Wealth event yes. by Oprah. Yes. I mean, huge. hello, you know, huge, huge, right? And again, other companies would take that and would, would market it for <laughs> 10 <Hello>. years, <laughs> right? But, but so we, we just get so, we, we get so comfortable with our business that we don't realize. Many that, people don't know this company exists. Exactly, Even yeah. Here. Even in Toronto. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. the fact, like, you know, <clears throat> we've been on TIFF. Yeah. We've been on TIFF. Yeah. I mean, that's huge. We've been on the Emmy Awards. I mean, really? I mean, like, what other MLM has ever been featured and had a booth at the Emmy Awards? Never. I mean, no. No. The, right? And, and but sometimes we get so, we, we, we forget how amazing our company is. And sometimes we let our prospects sort of break our mindset. True. Which should, should never happen. Because you should be always understanding how it Okay, that was not me trying to be a DJ. All right, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so again, the key point is, is sometimes we, we falter, we get weak because sometimes we are listening too much. Mm -hmm. Understand this, right? We are here to understand concerns or questions of our prospects, but we are not here to entertain negative comments mm -hmm. or, or doubts, mm -hmm. right? So if someone ever tries to, you know, doubt my company, can you imagine how hard I push back? Of course. I push back twice as hard. I feel the same. But again, very in a very polite Renee style yeah. oh, and very yeah. calm but firm, you know. Um, so, but it's okay. I'm, I'm not saying don't answer questions. We want questions. But if, if someone's talking to you, making you feel like trying to put down your company, oh boy, oh boy, you got to push back twice as hard. And just, you know, take this out, slap them with it. I'm just kidding. Don't slap people <laughs> with this, right? Just take it out and just, you know, and show them yeah. <laughs> all the stuff inside, right? So again, you know, Prestige Magazine, uh, Regard Magazine is Hollywood's magazine, and they featured our products now in three different editions, right? I mean, guys, this is huge stuff here. Um, 
Canadian Jeweler is a hundred and like thirty year old magazine. It's over a century old as magazine. All they talk about is jewelry. Mm. And when they saw mm. our twenty one karat gold technology, they featured us three times in the Canadian Jeweler. Wow! Right. I mean, so again, but again, sometimes we forget this stuff because we're just so spoiled with all these different accolades and media, right? So um, I think I hit upon a lot of the main ones already. Uh, but again, this 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 thing here is so amazing to have with you. Oh, well, this is yeah. one of the best I've seen so far. Thank you. Oh, yeah. and, and it will be the best forever. <laughs> you, will, you will get it in your, in your package. Yeah, you'll get it in your package, right? Yeah, so yeah, again, okay. uh, so many, you know, and by the way, how many of you guys watched the... Um, uh, our fairy president video. Oh God, that's my favorite. I'm yeah. telling you guys, every other company, if they had that video, God. they'd be marketing for, they'd be, yeah, yeah. that'd be their main thing for 10 years, that's right? Prestige. Like going back to today and watch the, um, cause one of our time pieces, the fairy president received the top 10 in the world award. So there was Rolex, Chopard, Mont Blanc, Pac Felipe, you know, and our fairy president was one of the top 10, but we were on the front cover of that magazine. Right, Ooh, and the okay. video is freaking amazing. Right, I mean, it, the first time I saw that video, I remember Junior, you were there watching that video. Um, <laughs> I'm not one to cry. I'm not one to cry, but I, I, I had a little <laughs> inkling of tear <laughs> when, when I saw that video. It's so cool, right? So, but we'll play it later. Okay, moving along here. Again, uh, Canadian jeweler preferred magazine again three times. Um, there's models wearing Hugo Boss, Versace. Well-known brands you know of, but also wearing fairy on, on the model at the same time, right? In the MLM side, you know, we've been featured uh, many times by the Network Marketing Business Journal for Company of the Month. Um, more importantly right now is that we have an A-plus rating on the Better Business Bureau. And again, the, the BBB is a government-run association, organization. It's not MLM. It is a purely meant for consumers in North America to file complaints on the company. Yeah. And we have the highest rating accredited business on the Better Business Bureau. Right. So that's, that's a very cheap yeah. right there. And especially for if you have teams in different countries who don't who have that fear of a Canadian business, just give them the link to the BBB.org with GWT. Mm -hmm. And explain to them this is actually the website designed mm -hmm. by the government for consumers like me and you. So if you have an upset experience with TELUS or Rogers, you can file a complaint against the BBB. Oh yeah. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And we have the highest possible rating accredited business on that BBB. And that should solve any one of your prospects, overseas markets, their concerns, right? Um, and again, folks, uh, aside from the um, uh, business for home, uh, they now give ratings, right? We have uh, a triple A plus business rating as well on business for home. So, but that's more like a network marketing. Yes. And so, you know, for me, definitely the BBB is like the easiest one to mention. And here's a cool one. Do you carry your GWT MasterCards with you? All the time. Because if someone is telling me, well, you know, is this a, is this one of those pyramid things, you know, or. <laughs> that's what someone was, I was talking about the business and this person was telling me, Oh, that's one of those pyramid you know, yeah. schemes. I said to go and research. I, I didn't want to talk yeah. about it more. Well, so let I me said, teach you how to. Do your own yeah. that. Actually, we have a whole training that we can't do today. Um, it's my favorite training of all. It's called yeah. Handling Objections. Okay. And in the past, we actually. Uh, so I'm going to mute more people here. Uh, we're going to mute all. Yeah. Actually, if anyone is on the call, one of my partners, uh, if you can help me mute everyone. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe people are watching TV. Yeah. When we have a training designed to make them wealthy. I guess TV is more important to them. Um, oh, funny question. Let me ask you, you know, how much do you think your TV costs you at home? 200, 2000? The truth is the TV costs you millions. Because all that time you spent watching TV. You know what I say when people is like, oh, I'm watching TV. I'm, so you're watching others make their films come true. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So TV, is, it's not just a TV that costs, it costs you. 
it's a time you wasted, Wait. right? And you got one person to blame when you're in your future retirement, not happy, is your TV <laughs> and you, right? So, but again, back to the training. Um, where was I again? I was talking about the, yeah, so we actually, um, on, on a four, we actually invited anyone in the company to share with us the most biggest objections they get in, 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 while they're out there building. And we thought maybe two webinars could cover all the objections. We did a total of four webinars, <laughs> like an hour and a half long each, covering every possible objection. So we don't have time for that, obviously. On the OurGWT.com website, uh, under Handling Objections, there's a whole series of those trainings, right? Um, but again, um, uh, in short, how I answer that objection is I look really confused. I'm like, and just ask them, what do you mean by that? Because most people have no clue what they're talking yeah. about. They just, they just, you know, seen something or heard something and they, they think it's that, right? Yeah. And so, you know, um, and I, I like to put them on the spot. Make them feel uncomfortable trying to explain what that means, right? And so again, but we can teach you how to properly handle that. But I like how you did it though. It's like, you know, go and research it yourself, right? Yeah. But again, this, they say I just slap them with it. I will not really slap them. I'm just saying, like, you know, how can that be? Yeah, just the, the how can how can this be a? Are you calling this a pyramid scheme? Yeah. Like, are you, are you? You gotta be joking, right? Okay, yeah, so um, going along to the products, wise though, to, to build your belief in this company even more, you know, most companies try to have patents. Uh, most health companies today in MLM they charge a lot of money because they have patents and that's their selling feature, right? Mm. But again, when you have the, the challenge though in, in, in health and wellness today is there's about 3,000 companies, 90% of those companies are in health and wellness mm. and they all have their special products. But, um, but when you have a patent in your mm. product, for example, USANA has a grapeseed extract patent. Yeah, I have been part of that. Two of them actually. Yeah, you know, Market yeah. America has their OPC stuff, <clears throat> right? Amway has their Neutralite stuff, you know, and, and every company has their own sort of technology, right? Yeah. So then, by the time it becomes, well, you're not really special then because there's so many other people sure. that have good sure. products. But here's where we stand out. So in the fashion side, <clears throat> number one, we are the only fashion company in direct sales. Mm -hmm. That does what we do. There's not one other company in direct, in direct sales that carries our fashion lines, the, the, the extent of our fashion line. There's not one. There's not one. Oh, that's good. Thank, Thank you. you. Number two, in the fashion line, we sell silver. But this, this guy, so you have to understand the power of this, right? We're, not only do we carry silver, we carry the world's only 950 selenium which is higher purity silver mixed with palladium. And the benefit of the 950 selenium, if you don't understand this really quickly, is it does not, it's hypoallergenic, there's no allergy reactions. And number two, it does not tarnish because of the mixture with palladium. So it doesn't really turn green or turn black, right? But guys, if, like, hmm. if any other jewelry company on this planet, I'm talking about Tiffany's, Bittersweet, George Jensen, you know, uh, Bulgari, if they had this technology, 950 Selladium, like, w w and good thing that they, they don't, <laughs> they would sell millions, millions and hundreds of millions of that product. They would make it their biggest attraction. You go into the Burberry store, mm -hmm. you're going to see Burberry 950 Selladium, right? They would do that. So are you saying they don't have? No, no we are the, the only, only company on the planet. We are the only one. If you actually God. go to Google and type 950 Selladium, yeah. all that shows up is us. That's awesome. That's why yes. you're blessed. Right? So you get, and the thing is, you get more silver. This company needs to be protected, actually. Well, that, well the thing is, it is. But yeah, it's already yeah, protected. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been around 12 years. Yeah. yeah. So my point, though, guys, folks, is that we have a product that you can sell, and you cannot buy this anywhere else. So we're not just unique within direct sales in jewelry. We're unique within the global world of jewelry. Likewise, 18 karat gold, right? We're the only company on this planet that has 19 karat gold and 21 karat gold. So it's higher purity gold, strong enough to set diamonds. That's nice. 
Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, yeah. When I'm having a bad day at home, I just put I put on the ring. Put on the ring. And I just kind of look in the mirror. No, <laughs> yeah. That's, 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 that's weird. Right? Yeah. 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 But I'm telling you, when I go out, uh, you know, in my dress pants, you know, when I go shopping with Heidi, uh, sometimes, you know, I, 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 I purposely leave it on and, you know, it's prospecting, right? But yeah, guys, my point here is, you know, the, I want you to build your belief in this business because you have not just the best MLM business, you have the best business. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing else like this in the world, right? So again, Seladium, 90K, 21K, and even Plankson, mm -hmm. but folks, Again, just this year, we launched Flawless. I mean, again, in Flawless, in the skincare line, there is no other company in MLM that does skincare like, like we do. They don't have an 88 patented technology called MicroSilver BG that actually solves the main problem with skin, which is bacteria. I mean, do you realize there's 88 patents when you're putting that stuff on your face. No, people don't, don't know, know that. that. Yeah. Right? I use it this morning. You know, you're not, yeah. so again, guys, there's, there's a lot of cream. Yeah, ingredient yeah. for ingredient, there's yeah. nothing in the market that can touch flawless. But you see how I'm leading with this, with this passion and not even those uh, natural. La prairie. Yeah. No, oh, this is natural too. It's all natural as well. It's, um, it's PETA recognized. It's PETA. Protection for the ethical treatments of animals. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. what I like. Made in Canada, number one, because we have yeah. yeah, made in Canada, yeah. FDA approved, Health Canada approved, you know, and free. And, free. and it's clinically tested by dermatologists. Awesome. So it's not like when they're saying, I think it works, yeah. maybe not, but no, it's clinically tested to work. So mm -hmm. I am in the right place. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Aren't you glad you came today? Yeah, so, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. So, woo, yeah. So again, folks, I mean, but do you, do you guys see how I deliver this information? It's important that you deliver it the same way to your prospects. Because if I were to tell you, yeah, we have this product, it's like a gray bottle, um, and there's like silver stuff inside. Um, it, 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 it feels nice on your skin. I don't know. And, uh, it, it doesn't work, right? You have to have that passion. So, again, so why do people that, you know, the top leaders uh, and a lot of the other ambassadors have ease in the business? Because we built our knowledge and belief so strong that when we meet someone else out there, it just transfers. Absolutely. And there's, there's no doubting, there's no, there's no her doubting this. No, no. Not me, but the information and the passion, right? And that's what you want to have. So again, so the, 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 the micro silver and the nice serum, I love even the, the, the eye serum, that thing is amazing, right? I'm using it on, on, on my forehead now because I, I, I worry too much sometimes. But, but the... the there's about, I think, 28 patents in the eye serum. And folks, FYI, there's two main ways to have anti-aging eye serums. There's two main ingredients, right? One is you use what's called argyline. And like A-R-G-I-R-E-L-I-N-E, argyline. But what that does is it actually kind of freezes your skin. So it pulls the skin really tight so the wrinkles are gone. Because the wrinkles are like a little divot, right, in your skin. It goes down and up. That's a wrinkle, right? So um, it pulls the skin. But once it releases the effect after a few hours, now you're having that pulling effect. <laughs> yeah. And we don't want to pull our skin because that's what creates the wrinkles over time, right? So whereas we have what's called hyaluronic spheres. And that's the most effective way because what that it actually draws in the moisture from around you and it lifts the wrinkle. So it actually uh, fills the wrinkle the proper way, right? And again, so we have all of this in one. And you know, even the 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 day, the day cream, the ingredients. I mean, most other companies use goji berry extract as their main ingredient because it's that good. For us, it's our third ingredient. It's not even the main top two, right? One of the main ingredients, again, is in FOL, right? So the Norwegian spruce tree extract, I think they call it something like AOX, something like that. AOX. Yeah, AOX, right? That's one of the main ingredients that none other of these MLMs have this ingredient, right? So you, know, you want to build up your knowledge of this stuff so that when you're talking to people, again, I'm not a skincare specialist, but I know my ingredients. and I know what's out there compared to my product. That's good. That's all you have to know, yeah. right? So, and, uh, and of course, um, I always do this, always mention the 90 day money back guarantee. Yeah. It used to be 60. 
Yeah, I mean, like, no, name, name me one other skincare company, not even non-MLM, that has a 90-day money-back guarantee. That the, 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 and we're so confident that you would like this. I mean, you can use it for 89 days, 90 days, empty the bottles, you know, because you use it all, <laughs> and get an 80% refund on your money. I mean, what other skincare company does that for you? No. No. And so why do they also do that? Is because it makes our life easier. Yeah. When we're promoting the business, we can tell our clients, what's, what, what's, what's going to happen? You have better skin after 90 days, 80% refund if you don't like it. But so it makes our life easier promoting these products, right? And so, so again, that, that's more for the, uh, oh, by the way, the actual, uh, uh, the dream lips. Mm. <laughs> I've become a better kisser because of the dream lips. Yeah. <laughs> Heidi has told me a true testimonial. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, no. right? Um, yeah. So you know, uh, I know that uh, it, it can definitely upgrade your game. Uh, so so because again, women don't like men with dry lips, right? Because and I realize that because when I kiss my sons, I still kiss my sons, right? Um, if they have dry lips, it's like kissing like sharp stuff right <laughs> like, ow ow right yeah so again uh, i love the uh, the dream lips right so again uh, the ingredients though like if you're to compare ingredients for ingredients nothing touches what we have in flawless period right so um and of course we even have a whole facebook page of testimonials so like, these are all things that you guys got know about right and now let's talk about fol and i think we all understand and and bringing it back to my first point where there's so many other health companies out there that have their patents. What makes our life easy in promoting FOL is that we can actually say this, and you should say exactly what I say because I got it from Ramin. It's a very monkey here, monkey say business, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> monkey here, monkey say. Um, is we have the world's most potent and strongest antioxidant known by scientists. Awesome. Awesome. Game over. Yay. Like that. That's it. What else more do you have to say? We have the world's most powerful and potent antioxidant known by scientists on this planet. And it's backed by scientists. Of course, yeah. Same thing. You know, again, it's natural, yeah, it's FDA approved, kind of, health care approved, right? Again, clinically tested by dermatologists. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. So Just guys, my, my whole point here, folks, is... Do you see what you have in your company? It, it's so powerful, right? But again, the Apple Well, um, I did a lot of training on my own Facebook page about how to promote that. I just tell people, look, are apples good for you? Yes, right? Apples, you know, have antioxidants, right? And, but apples can die what lives on the tree. And trees can live for, you know, what tree lasts can, thousands of years. Mm -hmm. And of all the trees, the spruce tree, is the strongest of the trees because it could be minus 40 here in Canada and the spruce tree is still like outside partying, having a good time, you know, blowing in the wind, right? Um, and it just so happens that, that, that the VIP of the, spru of the spruce trees is a Norwegian spruce tree. It's uh, disease free. Disease free, exactly, right? Thank you, right? So the question became, how do we, how do you get the stuff out from the spruce tree to consume? Could, it, could you try to bite a tree, you eat a tree, <laughs> you'll have no tea. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is right, so, <laughs> so, so the only so that led to twenty two patents in a bottle. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Right? I mean, if you just explain FOL the way I just explained it, you're gonna have a ton of customers waiting in line to buy that, which I do already. And that's how powerful. And that's awesome. And here's what you gotta do, guys. You have to learn this really well. Learn to open your eyes. <laughs> right to to emphasize a point okay i have a tough time but you have to open your eyes <laughs> so what i tell people is i say what blew my mind is i couldn't believe the price of this product because mm -hmm. any other health company you go to on a monthly basis you're blowing at least a hundred dollars 150 usually close to 200 dollars a month on health products mm -hmm. to have great antioxidants uh, 330 month, like, yeah. 330 yeah well again danny is like the expert when it comes to you know um home parties and, and I'm sure you've seen hundreds of companies. Yeah, about three. Yeah. So definitely over 200, mm -hmm. sometimes over $300. Right. And so shockingly the price of FOL, I can't believe this. And it's $50 
you know, retail price in Canada plus tax is about 58. Globally, it's 58. It's the same price. So it's really $58 after tax, right? I mean, and the member's pricing, by the way, with a 30% discount is, you know, just under 40 bucks. Like, seriously? I mean... Sometimes I can't sleep. I'm yeah. very late just going to... Because <laughs> we're all waiting for it, right? Yeah. 90-day money-back guarantee, guys. You know, if all you did was to get out there and promote the nut out of FOL and then have your brand new people that didn't know, even existing members to watch this video, mm -hmm. I think this training video is powerful, right? So I wanna keep going here, but FOL is a product that is just absolutely insane. And even when I talk to other network marketers who have their own health products, I'm like, look, you know, I know you love your products, but you need to get on this. Cause if you want to have antioxidants, cause you understand the importance of antioxidants, you need to get a bottle of this and, and, and try it out because it's, it's, it's the most, most potently known antioxidant known by scientists. That's it, right? So again, that's more belief in the company. Um, and again, um, we're the only company, we already talked about that before, we are the only company in direct sales that has fashion, beauty, and health all in one, the only one. Guys, be proud about that. Like, you know, lead with confidence. Like, be cocky when you talk about your company, you know? I mean, I'm like, if someone approached to me from another health company, I'd be like, well, I mean, I know you have great products, but you know, in our company, I get to market not just health, but what people want and need, fashion, beauty, and health. We are one stop shop. I mean, it's that simple, right? Just selling juice, well, you know, I know you have great products, but what I love about GWT is we have everything for everyone. Fashion, beauty, and health, right? So again, um, and so belief in the company, I want to really go over again, just the products first of all. Um, it's been here for over, over a decade now, the company, but here's the thing. Compensation plans, hey. and we already discussed that. Compensation plans, and here's my logic, right? If I were to pick a company, because there's 3,000 companies in MLM today, how do you know which one to pick, right? Do you sell mango juice, I don't know, coffee. this juice, coffee, vitamins, you know, do you sell travel, insurances, what do you sell? So let's just say that all these companies have great products. Again, I just, however, I just shown you that we have the best in health, skincare, and fashion. Mm -hmm. But let's just assume that all these companies have great products, right? Now, and given that you understand joining any company, I can find a leader in that company who can teach me how to market that product and how to make money. Mm -hmm. Given that's the same in all these companies, right? Then, then my question for you is, well, logically, which is the company that you should choose? Given that you can make money and have good products and learn from a leader on how to market that product. The only logical answer is, and given that the timing and opportunity is all the right same, you know, the time to market, the only logical answer is, well, which one pays me more mm. with the same effort? I'm not talking about which compensation plan boasts they can pay the most, because some companies say we could pay a million dollars per week, but no one makes it. That's not my point. That's irrelevant. I'm talking about you doing a, an hour of effort or you having a hundred people in your team. How much does that pay you on a monthly basis? So what I compared was I have two companies, company ABC, I have a hundred people. How much do I earn in residual income monthly? And the average on the industry is one to one. So a hundred people in my team, I make a hundred dollars per month in residual income. To make $10,000 per month of residual income, you need 10,000 people. Mm -hmm. Now notice, I'm not talking about bonuses because bonuses are not important. They're, they're nice to have, but it's not your long-term goal. Why? Because bonuses come once and they're gone. You have to qualify again every single time for that bonus, right? What you want to seek in MLM, we talked about it before, is residual <laughs> income, right? So again, 10,000 people to make $10,000. And you all know that I was at Eric Worre's event uh, many years ago in Las Vegas uh, with the only six-figure, seven-figure earners in network marketing. And I was actually there, right? And I have photos. And I'm not like those other people that say they were there that were never there. Um, <laughs> you were present. I was, I was there, right? Uh, some of you get, get what I'm talking about here. 
But um, I got a chance to meet the other seven figure earners. So to make seven figures a year, you have to make at least 90,000 per month. Because 90,000 per month times 12 months is about a million, okay? So I asked them all a question. I said, how big is your teams? So I said, hi, my name is Renee, nice to meet you. I can see you're a seven figure earner, and then you know, blah, blah, blah. I asked me a question, how big is your teams? And they all said, at least 90,000 people, 130,000 people. One gentleman had almost half a million people in his team. But they said it with such pride. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have half a million people on my team. But they don't realize to the average person, that's scary. <laughs> like even me today, like, you know, I can't even, like you know, when I got started especially, trying to build a team of 100 people was a task to me, let alone half a million people. So when they, so they, they, they then, so again, my whole point is one-to-one. They had 90,000 people and more to make $90,000 per month. So it's one-to-one ratio, right? And when all these seven-figure earners then asked me, well, you know, Renee, and I'm not, they didn't all ask, but like, I think like 90% of them asked me, well, how big is my team? And I said, oh, well, I have 8,000 people. <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, 8,000 people? They're like, you mean... No, 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 I mean like total in your team, like with everyone together. I said, yeah, 8,000 people. But no, no, they said, no, no, not just the, the builders. I'm You're talking about, I'm talking about everyone. I'm like, yeah, 8,000 people. <laughs> and it's, you know, you, you, don't, you don't often catch a seven figure earner looking confused. <laughs> yeah. But dang, did they look confused, right? I can't believe it. Yeah. Hey guys, do the math. You know, if you have 60 people, here, here's how you do the math. 60 people, write down, 60 people, right, who pay the monthly 150 gives you 90 points, right? 60 people times 90, right? So 60 people times 90 points, which is the 150 uh, smart buy, is 5,400, right? And you all saw the comp, 5,400 pays you $460, at least, right? Mm. So in what other words- 90. What's 90? So when someone pays a monthly 150 in your team, mm-hmm. it gives you 90 CV points. points. Yeah. Okay. So 90 points times 60, 60 people, mm-hmm. right? 90 times 60 is 5,400. Mm-hmm. And 5,400 pays you at least $460. In other words, 60 people mm-hmm. in your team pays you 460. So you are actually making money out of the 150. Of course. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll do more content training content. with you after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Really yeah. yeah. I, love, I love new people because they're like, wow, 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 <laughs> wow, right? <laughs> yeah. I love it, right? So, so, in other words, you see the ratio here? It's like almost one to eight. So, every person in your team pays you. And not, not, this is not just email people. This could be people, retailers buying products from you, right? They're like customers can pay you this, right? Which is huge. So each person, you know, pays you $8 in residuals, mm-hmm. right? So that's why, you know, when I had a team of 8,000 people, I, I, I made six figures that month because of the ratio. But guys, here's the other key point that does not happen in other you know, marketing companies is we give you volume on the packages. Mm-hmm. Like the diamond package, the 1284 plus taxes, volume flows up. Most other companies that I've seen, yeah, like true. even in USANA, you buy the bigger package, there's no volume for you. Volume in the week with and you have to pay. Vol- basically, you earn commission mm-hmm. on the volume generated by your team. Okay. So if someone in your team joins as a diamond, mm-hmm. in other companies, there's no volume. Even though they pay $1,200 for products, yeah. right? In our company, we give you volume that flows up with every package. Mm-hmm. So that's how... So someone, in, uh, I mean, my supposed is going to get big money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll have to go over the content again with you afterwards. Yeah, just so I can get to the training. <laughs> yeah. So again, uh, I love your questions. So write, write them down for me though. Yeah. Okay. So, but again, yeah, folks, you know, so that's the answer is we are the company that pays the most residual income. And guys, you have to get vocal about this. Like I want all of you guys, even on your YouTube channel, you know, pick a topic that you want to talk about and, and, and just share your excitement on Facebook. It could be, you know, oh my God, guys, no, I'm so pumped to know we have the highest earning for distributor ratio. It's something like that, you know, but as long as, the, the key thing is as long as you guys understand that in here and it comes out from here. 
Does it make sense? If you know it in here, but it comes out through here, then you, it's not like Rene, right? Uh, in terms of the old programmer Rene, we have silver, 88 patents, gray bottle, okay? Uh, it has to come out from your heart, right? So, so I hope you understand that our company is the, is going, it already is the best company in our market to choose from. And I say it with 100,000% conviction. We have the world's most solid opportunity on this planet. And I've logically shown you this over the last hour or so now. Okay. So again, and, and so what happened was over the time, um, I was comparing numbers to different companies because I came from two other companies. I was comparing how does GWT pay compared to my other companies and GWT killed it. Mm -hmm. But then I had people in my team start asking me, well, Renee, can you look at this company? Because I was in this company before or uh, I'm looking at this other company. Can you tell me how this other company compares to your company, right? And again, I would start to compare the numbers. And so what happened over time was I got tired of sending individual emails to people with the comparison. So I put a website with all the comparisons hmm. online. I love that. So under our GWT.com, left-hand banner, click on Composition Plan Comparisons is a collection of all my comparisons I've done. And some of the other leaders also contributed to those comparisons since I got started in 2005. And by the way, um, I forgot to mention this, but I have a blog that I did from the very first year that I joined. And it's renealiao.blogspot.com. So R-E-N-E-L-I-A-W dot blog spot dot com like b l o g s p o t dot com and if you ever want to show someone um, a real story of someone who documented their progress wow. almost year by year I actually have that it's still there okay so your blog is uh, uh, Renee Leal yeah, uh -huh. yeah dot blog spot and so you, you can tell from blog the, spot? Yeah, B L O G blog uh -huh. S P O T spot uh -huh. dot com. It's a bit of a read because it's it's basically my story that I've tracked. And the the, the only reason why I had that blog initially, by the way, guys, is not because I'm a genius and I can forecast that I would need that ten years later. <laughs> the only reason why I had that blog is because I knew back then people were Googling GWT and Googling looking for GWT scam. Yeah. So I put a blog out there and I put the key words as GWT scam because I wanted yeah. them to see my story. Yeah. Yeah. I read a blog. Oh, oh yeah, wow. so yeah. I'm going to apply. Yeah, so I only put that there for like a counter defense measure for people back then who didn't have this belief in the Believe. company. That's right. Just so you put your thing uh, on every now and then, um, every, every now and then, uh, people would actually ask me and say, Renee, I read your blog the other day. Would you mind sending me an update of your blog? Yeah. Or can you do an update of your blog since you last did it? So every year and a half, and I should probably do another one because <laughs> we have FOL now again, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, uh, but that's like a, literally a, a journal uh, since back then. So um, yeah, and so... Oh my goodness. So again, uh, we don't have time for this talking about the, the pitfalls because aside from the comp plan that we had the highest paying comp plan dollar per dollar in residual income. Again, we have a whole training on what to look out for in comp plans, like how many lakes to build, how many levels you get paid. Do you have ranks? What's the total payout? And so in short, um, we have removed all of the, toughest things that you have to do in a typical MLM company, like building 12 lakes or building six lakes or building three lakes, like only getting paid down to six generations or 10 levels. Like we removed all of those things. We don't have ranks that, that stop you on your earning potential. And I'll, I'll only yeah, talk about, video yeah. About that. Oh yeah. I'll, let me just talk about ranks only the ranks for today. Cause it's such a big one, but um, don't get sold on people who are telling you, that they know someone in another company who has this triple diamond superstar Mario Kart NATO commander rank, okay? Uh, and they're making like a million dollars a month. Don't get impressed by that, okay? Because mm -hmm. here's why. I had someone actually come up to me a few years ago 
And he said, you know, um, I, don't, I don't know his name, um, but I don't want to say his name. But he said to me, you know, Renee, um, you know, I, I know you're making great money here, but, you know, uh, my other friend in the company, he's making a million dollars, like a month, something ridiculous, right? And I said, oh, really? <laughs> I said, so, I mean, I assume that this person must have the highest rank in your company, I mean, to make that kind of money. He's like, yes. I said, well, I mean, I mean, I said, I mean, you must have a pretty big company and it's a really solid company. You must have a lot of people, like, you know, at, at least half a million people. He's like, yes, we have well over half a million people um, in the company, well over half a million people. So it's going to again. Yeah. <laughs> it just happened in the middle of my good story. <laughs> can we take a break for the walking? Yeah, you can. Yeah, so you can do that. So, so again, um, uh, do, do you guys need a break on the call here to go to the washroom? No. Should I keep going? Just, just, okay. Just, okay, I'll keep going then, all right? I'll keep going. So I then asked a the person, I said, um, so you must have a lot of people in the company. They're like, yeah, we have well over half a million people. And I said, so uh, I said, it, most likely, he's probably like one of the very few people that have that double diamond Super Mario Kart NATO commander rank, right? And he's like, yes. So I said, so what you're telling me then is my probability of making this income that you're boasting about is one divided by half a million, which is 0 0.00001. Yeah, uh, I think it's, yeah, we have one, we have, it's nuts, right? Yeah. I think you lost him there. Yeah. And I've never seen someone so confused. <laughs> <laughs> and then he realized he said the wrong thing to me. And what I told him, I said, look, I don't care how much your top guy makes. Because what your top guy makes has nothing to do with what I make. That's right. And for you guys, what I make has nothing to do with what you make. Mm -hmm. What everyone should understand on how to make money is the compensation plan. Mm -hmm. What pays you is not Renee. What pays you is not someone else. Mm -hmm. What pays you is the compensation plan. It's the black and white. It's the blueprints of how you get paid. You do this, you get that. So... You know, so I, I just can't stand those other people that, you know, uh, that, that have that mindset. Well, I'm going to join this company because mm -hmm. there's a guy making a million dollars a month. That means I can make it too. No, that's not how it works. You have to look at the numbers, look at the company, look at the, uh, you know, the, the, the products, you know, how unique are they? And look at what's your probability yeah. of having that kind of oh, income, right? Achieve. And for all of you guys on this call, the fact that we're launching FOL in a few weeks, equal, equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. And what, what is amazing, if you didn't catch how the new lottery bonus pool works, <laughs> do you understand what just happened with that? Oh, if you don't, let me explain this to you guys, right? The lottery monthly bonus pool is for you guys to tap into the effort that I do. And the, effort, that and the effort that so many people do. Think about it, right guys? Every single time a cycle is made, right? Every single time a cycle is made in the company, it increases what? It increases the monthly lottery pool, right? Mm. And if I don't have my 500 PGB, which I don't right now, it's bothering me. I'm, I'm working so yeah, hard to, to have it. I mean, I helped someone else downtown launch two diamonds and they're not qualified for the monthly lottery pool, but they're tapping into this pool that all of my cycles are really contributing into. They're tapping into the money generated by the top of the field. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that in itself, guys, does not happen in other companies. So do you guys realize you're, you're tapping into the hard efforts and, the, and not really the incomes, but the cycles, the overages, the overages of people like me and Reza are going into that pool that you're tapping into. And it's, it's a fair playing field. Anyone can qualify for that. Yes. In fact, I had to qualify for it. It bugs me. <laughs> you know, I feel, yeah, work. I feel like I should, I should deserve it. But that's cool, right? I have to work for it too, right? So guys, that's how amazing this comp plan is, right? Whereas in other companies, in, like, so again, you joining a diamond. Here's just a more to understand this, right? You joining as a diamond in this company, which I paid almost $5,000 Canadian, 10 years ago to join the diamond, we, you and me make the same income. Amazing. How much did you say? So 
10 years ago when I joined the company, it was almost 3,600 oh, US yeah. dollars, really which was 5,000 Canadian. But yeah. well, my whole point is, you guys joined Diamond today, and me being in Diamond uh, here for 10 years, we follow the exact same comp plan. Mm -hmm. Any other company will say, well, because I have this rank, mm -hmm. I earn more than you by default. No. And they'll put blockages in the binary to cap the volume, right? They'll have breakaway, breakage, right? We don't have that here. So all I'm saying is the rank wise, don't get fooled by it. And someone tells you they know something, you know what? I don't care what rank you have. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. So, um, do not press the unmute button, girls, yeah. boys, whoever is yeah. out there, ladies, gentlemen. Well, I, I am touched with my people joining the call. I guess I'm having a good job today, right, guys? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, uh, all I'm saying, folks, is is GWT is the most level playing field level playing. for you guys to have your success. And tell people that tell you, I don't care what rank your person has. What they make has nothing to do with, with what I make. That's right. Show me your comp plan because that's what pays me. Ask them, does your top leader pay me? Does he feed me my bills? No, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to share with you guys today on the company side of things, right? And again, uh, we already covered this really quickly. No ranks, no levels, no flushing of volume, no capital carryover, free flowing binary plan. Again, we have comp plan training for that as well too. Um, and just really quickly here, you know, um, uh, with the fashion side, I think we already covered most of this kind of stuff. Yeah. The key points I want to talk about here is this. You don't lose value. Because this ring that I'm wearing right now, you know, I got it for about, I think, ten, twelve thousand dollars a few years ago, has not gone up. Because gold and diamonds goes up over time. Right, guys? Right? So the cool thing is all the silver um, that my wife has that we bought for many years ago, the silver lose value? No. no. It actually goes up in value, right? This timepiece, collector's edition, will go up in value as well too. So all I'm saying is, guys, is that you know we have such a unique company, um, best products, best comp plan. You know, also, if you talk to other network marketers, here's a key point to focus on is the retention. Mm -hmm. Because retention is the name of the game. Yeah. You have residuals because you have good retention. Bad retention, bad residuals, right? So I always ask people, you know, what is the black sheep of the industry is the auto ship. Because we as leaders want to have as many people in our teams to be on auto ship because that pays us the monthly residual income, right? But then the problem with a normal auto ship is if you can't finish your products this month, yeah. next month order automatically comes in. If you're not finishing it, because usually it's hard to pop 30 pills in one day and, and over consume them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I used to be Before part of- shakes. Yeah, yeah. And you know I mean? Milkshakes can taste good for the first two, three months, but trying to drink the same shake, strawberry, vanilla, you know, banana, trust me, you, you, <laughs> like, you know, after a few months, right? So, but my point is, is that um, the, the, uh, what was it? Uh, auto ship. Auto ship, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, what I love about GWT is that we get to put money into our accounts and we decide what to buy when we, when we want with the fashion and the skincare, right? Of course, we need the FOL. So regardless, you want the FOL to come for your own health, regardless of you, right? And honestly, I don't mean, you know, like what comes with your future monthly smart buy, for me, it's not even enough. I mean, I think you'll get three or four bottles maybe. I want more than that because I have yeah, myself. They have the devotion and that's the other. Right? So... Minimum three products, and after the third month is processed, you tap into an extra 10%. 10%. So yeah, that yeah. means we're making 40% on our products. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, so good point from Danny is, and again, why is that program good for your clients? Because it encourages your clients to buy monthly. So, after their third month, they get additional 10% discount on the third month going forward, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's not just good for you to save our money. That's not the point. It's to encourage the retention ratio to go up, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, again, we're the only company in direct sales that has this monthly layaway feature where you choose what you want to buy when you want to buy, right? And that's the beauty of GWT. And the last part of today's training, um, okay, well, okay. time here, yeah, 11, 18, is belief in yourself. And so 
Again, a lot of you guys, I feel on this call, um, typically you have a decent amount of belief in yourself. However, uh, it might be as well that uh, you might not have 100% full belief in yourself, you know, and, and, and this is talk about you for now. So, um, so are you saying there's no auto chip uh, order here? You pay monthly. Okay. The difference is that you choose what you want to buy. Okay when you want to buy so the 150 yeah so okay. this time piece yeah. you know i could save it up for a few a few months and buy this gorgeous time piece on this time piece by the way i was in nigeria and I asked after Razak because he's there with me i got so much attention from this time piece i know it's nice i think maybe because i was a chinese person in nigeria maybe that was no no, no, no. It, it was a time piece right yeah it was a time piece okay yeah, <laughs> yeah i mean like everyone who yeah. has that is like Ooh. yeah and so um so let's talk about you guys for now, right? And this is the last part of today's training, is belief in yourself. Very important. Um, and because before, I, I lacked that belief because in my first two companies, and maybe you can relate to this, right? I saw other people in different companies making so much money. You know, making 8,000 a month, you know, getting a $20,000 bonus check, and all this stuff, right? And, you know, I was like, well, how can they can do it, but I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And for some of us, we kind of blame ourselves sometimes mm -hmm. that we think maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong. I will say this: I think nowadays, most people in any other company, they're just, it's just a company. It's not the right fit for them. Mm -hmm. It's not designed to pay a lot in income. The payment's too low. Um, the products are too hard to push. You know, you had the auto ship problem. So I think a lot of other companies, like it's normal to feel that way, especially in different companies. Um, but at the same time, again, we have the best company for you to have the best success with. Mm. I think the one thing that happened for me, and I can only share my own experiences. I can't speak on behalf of someone else's experiences, right? But my mind thinks a bit differently because um, mm. what, what I saw happening was I was in another company, I was at their convention, and uh, what I saw happening was I saw this lady, and this lady, uh, her name was Corazon, and uh, she's part of this travel business. And you know, she had really poor English. She couldn't even talk it properly. I mean, it was really, you know, it, it was just hard to understand her. And, um, and you know, I, I, she couldn't really do a proper presentation. Um, you know, and, and I just couldn't, like, I was like, you know, my image of a MLMer, was someone, you know, dressed well and <laughs> wearing a tie, nice hair, tidy. Yeah, you know, that kind of an image, right? And this lady, I was like, you know, she's just, you know, like, reminds me of like my mom. You know, I'm like, I'm like, you know, can't, can't see. But then at the same time, she was a lady on stage getting like, you know, $100,000 checks. You know, and I was like, how is this possible? You know, how, how can this person be the person that's in all of these checks, right? And so what happened for me was, in, in short, is I couldn't believe that this person could make all this money. And, the, and every time I saw her on stage, I'm like, what does she have that I don't have? Mm -hmm. I mean, I speak English better. Wow. And, you know, I'm a bit taller, I don't know. Um, you know, and, and yeah, your self image was better than what you saw. Yeah. Right. Which is belief. Yeah. So what it was though, was we were on a cruise ship together doing the, cause back then the trains were on these cruise ships to pay for it kind of thing mm -hmm. on the cruise ship. Um, we had training days on the off days. We would just hang out on the cruise ship and I went into the, uh, the room, like the boards game room because the only place you could drink on the boat outside of the, uh, well, somehow in the games where you could bring wine and yeah. So, you know, we were just drinking in, in the games room and the rule was you weren't supposed to share with any of the employees mm. on the cruise ship, your business. Oh. So you can't prospect, you know, the employee, your, your okay. waiter or your, you know, your, your room cleaner, all those people. Right. Okay. That's but she still did, of course. And, and so the guy came on his off time to meet her in the games room and she was doing a presentation 
And so she was Filipino. He was like Mexican, I think it was. So they don't speak, this, you know, they, I, so they, you know, they don't speak Tagalog, right? They're speaking English together. And, and I, I was kind of sitting there, kind of like, you know, laughing in my head. There's no way he's going to sign up because they can barely con- have a communication. Yeah. They can't even have a proper, you know, English conversation, yeah. right? Yeah. I was like, there's no way he's going to sign up. I was kind of laughing in my head. Like, she's wasting her time, right? And after like 20 minutes, he's from his credit card. So and signing up. Yeah. I'm like, and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like, is going on? Right? Like, how come they're signing up? And, and, but I was actually like, during the whole process, I was kind of eyeing what she was doing. And she had just a lot of her own photos of mm. her getting her first paycheck. With her first paycheck, buying a new you know, uh, uh, like a uh, clothes washing machine. Yeah. What do you call it? Washer dryer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. Uh, yeah. Buy a new washer. Her, you know, um, you know, in her first, you know, kind of car. And, but what else, what it was, was her belief. Yeah. It was her, it, it was, she was talking from her heart, sure. not from her head. And documenting. And, yeah. Yeah. and people yeah. can feel that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what I realized in this business is, it's what comes out from your heart yeah. and your belief in your company that sells the business. Yeah. Right. Because, cause you know, you can talk to someone that's data like me and I need to hear the data stuff. Mm-hmm. But the funny thing is the data won't sell me in the end. Mm-hmm. The data will help me clarify mm-hmm. to let me to make a decision, say yes or no. But what gets me to, to sign a dotted line is the belief in the other person. <laughs> so facts tell stories sell because stories are emotion. Stories have passion and stories come from the heart, right? And so um, after that, I realized, oh my goodness, if she can do it. You can do it yeah, too. You can do it. I can do it too. Because yeah. she was not fancy. She was not, was not a fancy presenter. She wasn't, you know, knowledgeable and comp. She probably didn't understand the compound herself. Um, but all she just had was that passion and belief. Hence today's training, the tripod of belief, right? So what I really get is that we're all made equal. And she has that experience too, like she can catch. Yeah, but things for her, even though she had those, that picture album, but she started from nothing. She didn't have pictures to share when she first started her business. She must have led with her belief and passion. This is what I do to sometimes. Oh, look at that, wow. <laughs> so guys, if you, you guys should look at this actually. So. Um, you actually took that training to heart. Did you hear this from me? You probably did it yourself even before knowing me. No, this is before. So what Maria Baptiste here has is her collection oh, yeah. of experience. Wow. So herself with the teams. Like so that. she That's actually, it. wow. <laughs> Maria. Hello. Jeez, I'm cool. Wow. Look at me. So she actually put she together was. a collection nice. of all these things here of herself. Oh, and, am I in here too somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And yeah. I have more from it. That's from all the convention and all the quality leaders that I've met over the years. Yeah. Wow. And part of the business and in my part of my vision board. What's the purpose why I'm doing it? What yeah. drives me? What wow. motivates me? Yeah. So I uh, uh, can I look at this later on. Yeah. yeah so oh, she yeah. has FOL in here as well to that's the back, house. right? That's my home. Oh, that's your dream home, then. Yeah. I love the Mesopotamia pool cool there. In in, in oh, yeah. oh wow, yeah. Oh, yeah. So and I was working with Bentley because I love the Bentley. Oh, the Bentley. Yeah, uh, the McLaren. Wow. It's yeah, so oh that is just amazing. Yes, yeah, so again, you know, great. she actually did, did what the other lady did, right? So, um, but again, back to the training, guys. Yes, guys, and that's definitely one thing that you want to build yourself too, right? Have your own little picture yes, album on success, are. right? Okay, so uh, I want to finish training before we're done for today. Uh, but again, it just comes down to when you realize that there's other people in the business, it's not about necessarily your talent or your skill. It's just about your passion. Because again, you know, we all have two hands, two feet, you know, we're all made equal. You know, uh, what comes down to is how much do you want the business? Mm-hmm. And I was just very driven. And I used to think that some people were born with the salesperson skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We all. Yeah, and the truth is, we all are. We all, we all have it. Because when you're first born and you're young and you want you know, to go and buy toys from your parents, you ask, Mommy, can I have this toy? And they say, No, what do you do? You start selling. 
That's right. No, but mommy, if I do this, you know, can you buy me the toy? But Maya, I'll do this for you. You're negotiating. You're negotiating and selling the day you're pretty much born. That's right. Right? When you're hungry, what do you do? You want milk, you cry. Get attention. Crying is a form of selling sometimes, right? So I realized that we're all born equal. And the only reason why you don't have success is because of you. You're making excuses. You're making excuses. You're saying, well, you know what? That person got lucky. They have it better. You know, they're born in that country. You make all these things up in your head. It's all up in here, all in your head that you think why you're not having success. And once you remove that blockage, you start to realize I have the exact same opportunity as anyone else to have my million dollar business. That's when your business starts to explode. And you start working on this. A uh, good friend once told me, when this upgrades, this upgrades. When your brain upgrades, your money upgrades. Yeah. So the question is, are you upgrading yourself? And I hope on today's phone call, for the last hour and a half, that we may be able to upgrade this a little bit more. So then upgrade this, the money side of things, right? And some of us, you know what guys, you know, but I'm not motivated. They go watch motivational videos. Hello. Right? Whatever you think you're not, you can learn to do. So when I don't have the drive, well, go get driven. Mm-hmm. Right? So back then, you know, I had, a, I had a cubicle job. I hated going to work, driving through traffic every morning, sitting in a cubicle for eight hours a day. What did I do? I always played in my car motivational videos, personal development CDs, Jim Rohn, you know, Tim Sales, Brian Tracy, you know, Les Brown, Tony yeah, Tony Robbins, right? And I kept filling my head with stuff. Because I knew that, understand your brain can only contain so much stuff. You have to decide, do I fill it with negative stuff or do I fill it with positive motivational stuff? If you fill it with negative stuff, you become negative. If you fill it with drama, what happens? You become drama. And, and, and negative stuff and drama stuff does not make you wealthy. Okay, just FYI. Okay, it, it brings chaos to your life, right? So if you want to have more income and become you know, wealthy, you need to fill it with the right kind of information. And that's why they always tell people that the five closest friends you hang around with, you become. Income, thought, speech, everything. Right? You become them. And so why do you want to hang around? Like, why, why are these people here with me today, folks? And yeah, because if you have a millionaire friend, you'll start to get some other thinking. The key is, so again, yes, should you change your friends? You don't have to change your friends. Just meet new ones. Yeah. Right? And hang around with the wealthy people. Yeah, surround yourself. Because by the time you hit 67, 65, Gosh. you did look back and think, you know what? All that time spent with this group of friends, they're cool, I get that, but it doesn't have to be every weekend, right? So, because again, folks, you, you're going to realize this, trust me, the friends you think you have now, mm-hmm. you know, you'll know if they're your real friends when you make a million dollar business. Because <laughs> I thought I had friends that were really my friends, and when I started making a lot of income, they start to distance themselves from me. Oh, yeah. But the funny thing is, is that you start to meet other people that align themselves with you and you have a much better friendship with, right? So, and, and some of you guys know in this phone call, there's some people that you hang around with that are no good for you. You know, every time you talk to them, you feel depressed, you get drama, you're talking about, you know, it's, it's demotivational, it's negativity, right? You got to remove yourself from the negative influence. Absolutely. I'm a, okay, I'm a kind of friend, that will tell you things that you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Mm-hmm. But I'll do it with a smile, of course, at the very oh. end, right? <laughs> As I always do. Um, but in short, I'm telling you guys, if you have to change your friends, change your friends. Because unless you are satisfied with where you are in life, then you probably not gonna be, and then you won't even be on this call in the first place if you were satisfied, <laughs> right? So again, the only thing stopping you is you, and make no excuses, you know? And what you should do is, um, even on your bathroom mirror or when you shower, just make a piece of paper. You can laminate it or just tape it against the thing. And just, you know, like I used to remind myself in the shower, it would say, stay positive. Mm -hmm. 
Think positive. <laughs> yeah, all over the walls, right? Because you have to train this to always, by nature and default, think positive, right? So, guys, it's not like we're born positive. Like, the people that you see out there in the world who are always positive, full of energy, they're not just born that way, yeah. right? It's because they have worked on themselves yeah, so much and developed themselves so much that they stay mostly that way. We are born into the negative neg world. This is a negative world. Yeah, right? It's We're born right. pure, but in a negative world, yeah. right? So you have to constantly fill this until you yourself naturally become a positive person, right? And if you don't want to, that's your choice. But don't expect to make a million dollar business because if, you, know, you can't lead a team that way. No. You have to lead by example. And I did an interview with someone uh, on a podcast. Uh, they were interviewing the top MLM like real leaders, not, not like that kind of fake team maker people. And he asked me, what's my favorite quote? And I'll leave it with this, right? One of my most favorite quotes, more of a question kind of a quote was, write this down, is would you want to be your own sponsor? <laughs> so would you want to be brought into this business by yourself? Or would you prefer Reza? Would you prefer Anil? Would you prefer, you know, Maria? Would you prefer for me or myself and that's the question because until you can say yes i kind of wouldn't mind being my own sponsor mm -hmm. you have not worked on yourself enough and it's not hard guys just constantly be plugging into i mean we used to have to pay for these cds and dvds because we couldn't download it before today on youtube there's like a billion oh motivational goodness. stuff online right right and so you have to work on this. When this upgrades, this upgrades, right, guys? So, you know, um, and always be, and again, I, I love the secret, you know? I know that there's some religious people and all that background stuff, but the overall message of the secret is really great, right? So um, work on yourself as well, too. And yeah, I mean, it's the same kind of, uh, this last slide here is, you know, there's really no stereotype. You know, it's not where you're from, where you're born, you know, your education, it, it's how much you want it. So again, just uh, one training that I always love to hear before in the past from um, T. Harv Ecker. I saw him live uh, on the Millionaire Mind thing. Uh, yeah, he asked uh, a question and he said, look, in life, you will either have results or you'll have excuses or reasons, right? And you have to pick one of the two. Is what I'm doing today going to give me results, you know, new potential clients for FOL, a new sign up, new retail sale, or do I have excuses? And when I ask someone, you know, hey, have you worked on your business? Oh, well, you know, I've been trying, but guys, oh, but. I learned from a movie, everything before the but is BS. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the truth is after the but, right? No, it's true. Right, everything before the but, is, is, is all fluff, right? It's after the but, but, okay? So you have to, just have to decide. And, and again, um, I'm going to rub it in. Where you are today is a result of what you've been thinking of the last year, two years, five years, right? Have you been doing your business? I mean, what have you done in your business? Someone comes over and I'm not making any money. Okay, well, have you been on the trainings on Monday, Tuesdays, Saturdays, Monday, Sundays? Yeah. No, no, no. Have you been to boot camp? No. Have you talked with your leaders? No. What do you expect? <laughs> it's not a lottery, right? So anyways, yeah. I think you guys get the point here, guys, right? I'm smiling because I, I am just, hey, hey. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. And so again, to understand that it's, it's, it's something personal with you guys today. It's just I want you guys to become better you. Right? Don't compare yourself. Like my two sons, it's so funny, Rex and Leon, you know, uh, and Leon, my younger one, oh, I ate as fast as Rex did, or you know, I did my homework faster than I said, Leon, don't, in Rex, don't compare yourself to Rex. And Rex, the same thing, you know, but Leon, I'm, I'm taller than you. Know, mm -hmm. Like Rex, stop comparing yourself to Leon. Compare yourself to yourself. Mm -hmm. And most of you guys ask yourself a question Did I improve myself from yesterday? Oh, yeah. Am I at least 1% better from yesterday? Absolutely. But here's the sad truth though. A lot of us, if I asked you, have you improved yourself in the last year to this year? I don't know. Can you? 
can you say that you've gotten better at the business, that you put more time to it, that you understand it a lot more? So as long as you're working a little bit per day, you know, 1% a day after 100 days, you're 100% better, right? So, um, and I guess the last part here is really is, is your mindset, you know, is, is, it's not a one-month business. On my tip of the day yesterday, I talked about it's not a get rich quick. If you are here thinking you can make a million dollars next month, leave. Okay, just leave, All right? It's not a lottery here, guys. It's a business, right? Yes, you can make some instant profits right away, but to make a big, big business takes some time. Every business does, right? And so the only way you can actually fail in this business and not make any money is if you stop talking about it and you stop working on yourself, right? So you only stop learning when you stop. Again, the whole saying, right? Winners don't quit. Quitters never win. Quitters never win, right? And again, some of you guys, if you don't have that motivation, watch motivational videos and know your why. I mean, I guess I, I, I'm going to share with you the last part, which is my, my sort of what drove me is because when I was younger, um, you know, we lived in Scarborough and I hated my grade school. I couldn't stand my high school because I felt like it was just, you know, people fighting, selling drugs, you know, and people you know, bringing their knives to school then. I mean, I remember, I remember going for, for getting pizza. I walked to the pizza bill. It's called Pizza Bill. And one of my other friends called Danash. She's like, they're psst. Like, you know, back then, people have no manners, right? It's psst. And they'll say, hey. Lady. And I was like, oh, hey, what's up, Danash? And he's like, oh, okay, okay. I want to show you something. And I felt a bit weird about that, right? I was like, well, what do you want to show me? Right? Just, he's like, I have a knife. I'm like, so I'm not sure what to, what to respond, right? <laughs> so I said, oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> Can I see it? Like, I don't know what to say, right? I was like, yeah. can I see your knife, right? He's yeah. like, no. I'm like, what do you mean by no? He's like, because if I pull it out, I have to stab someone. I was like, oh, is that how it works? <laughs> I didn't realize it was a policy. <laughs> yeah, but so growing up in my high school, you know, I mean, and, you know, and a lot of gangs, there's, there's like, the, like the, the, the Spanish gang, and the, you got the black gang, there's different kind of gangs, you know, like we have the Chinese gangs, and, you know, so growing up, for me, I just couldn't stand the environment that I was in. And, but I wanted to be a dad one day, I wanted to have kids, and I knew that for my kids, when I had kids, I did not want to have the same environment as my kids. My kids go to the best private schools, there's no bullying, there's anti-bullying, but I do teach, but I bully my kids. In, in a sense that I try to make them strong myself. Discipline. Yeah, discipline, yeah, right? Um, and, and, you know, because one time my son was getting bullied. Um, I could see it, and I kind of stepped in a little bit. I was like, hey, kind of scared the other boy. But anyway, yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I thought that scrub beside me, right? But, um, but for me, what motivated me in, in, in my business was to not have that lifestyle. My dad was not, you know, like, I love my dad, but, you know, he would not... You know, like I love him because he, he, he did what he did to raise us. But I knew that, but I knew what I didn't like about, you know, traits in my parents, right? right. And I wanted to be a different kind of person. So, um, so that, that's more like the, the internal why part. Money-wise, um, we went back to Malaysia. I saw my uncle, my dad's little brother, living in like a multi-million dollar mansion in Malaysia. In Malaysia, to drive a, like a three-series BMW cost triple what you pay here because the import duties mm -hmm. he had like six cars already wow. so and over the years he bought the mansion beside his mansion and it actually built a walkway oh, no. wait, wait, between wait. the mansions right i was like what the heck okay. and his driveway became this big giant like parking lot right what does he, do? Uh, he has a business in short oh. yeah <laughs> right but again you know it's it's a so my whole point though was, was i realized like my goodness like because because w w when i saw my dad's blood mm -hmm. sibling See, making the money. I realized it's not even your, your gene. It's nothing to do with the gene. No, yeah. No. It's not it's about easy. what family you're born in because my dad, it was just getting by his younger brother and sister. They all have this, these, uh, kind of this is, they're killing it. So I realized, wow, they're the same family. They're siblings. But, right. Yeah. I realized that I could do it too as well. Um, and I actually asked, oh, here's another key reason why network marketing, because I tried to approach these family members and, and not just them, but even my wife's family side of things. And cause, cause they have big businesses too. I asked, you know, can you 
teach me to do what you're doing and have your kind of lifestyle. But if they taught me to run my own travel business and compete against their clients, is that good for them? Mm -hmm. No. So there's two kinds of wealthy people you'll meet. Ones that want to help you become wealthy mm -hmm. because they become wealthier, mm -hmm. which is our model. Yes. And the other wealthy people that don't want to help you because one, they're going to be greedy, greedy because they don't want to give you their business. Exactly. Right? So do you have rich people in your life? Go ask them. Can you show me exactly what you do to make riches and support me and train me and guide me? I met them in right? All the way. You have it here, GWT. Right. All of us want to help you. Right? Do you have a rich uncle that will guide you and work with you, you know, on a daily basis to get you where, where you want to be? That's the benefit of network marketing because the wealthy people in, in our model, now not all MLMs have this. Some MLMs, there's breakage, right? So if you're too far away from me, I don't want to help you become wealthy mm -hmm. because you don't benefit from me. In our model, you benefit from everything everyone. below you, but not just everyone in your team, but globally. Yeah, organizations. Organizational ones, yeah. Organization. yeah. 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 Right? yeah. And then like, you can't go wrong. Yeah. This is a family. That's why I'm here, right? Because if I did what I wanted to do, I'd be, I don't know, sleeping in right now, um, you know, playing with my boys, right? But I'll, Oh, no, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm here because I want to help you guys because we want to build this to become a billion dollar it's company. A billion. Yeah, it's everyone, it's a billion. Yeah, exactly, right? So, um, and the other thing that kind of drove me was my mom because uh, my dad, for his own reasons and health, retired a lot earlier. My mom kept on working. And my dad wanted my mom to work to get the bank pension and the CPP. Because the CPP is not enough on its own. Even with the bank pension on top, it's, <laughs> it's just you know, it's barely enough still, right? But um, so I always wanted to give my parents a better life. I think we all do, right? Yes. We all want to give our parents a better life. And more importantly, give your kids a better life than you had, okay. right? And so, um, and, and, but again, the same thing with my dad, she told me that her dad in Cambodia before the 1980s, the big war that came in Cambodia. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. The Khmer Rouge, I think it was, right? Yeah. Um, he was the richest man in Cambodia. Lived in like this like giant mansion. And I asked, so oh, where's the house? Can we go get it back? But of course, when governments collapse, your deed means nothing, it's right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's not it's belongs fun. to the new government, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, dang, I should have been rich. I should have been rich. <laughs> And so I just felt like, so uh, even going in, uh, in university, I finally got out of uh, high school, went to U of T and, you know, um, thought I was smart, but I saw other kids, you know, in these nice BMWs, Mercedes, I was driving a Corolla, taking the bus most of the time. And I was like, how can this young kid at 20 be driving a BMW and I'm driving this Corolla? You know, how is that fair? Folks in life, nothing's fair. If you're not born in that kind of situation, work for it. Mm. Stop wishing you were someone else's kid. That's right. Stop, stop, stop daydreaming that you won the lottery. How many of us ever daydream? Like when we saw someone win the lottery, you start daydreaming. If yeah. I won the lottery. We were young. We were stop young. it. Nothing. Does nothing good for you. Just fills your head with more nonsense, right? Go build it. Go get it done, right? Do it yourself, right? So, um, and of course, you know, um, didn't help that the girls that I liked end up dating uglier guys in nice cars. <laughs> didn't, didn't help, right? <laughs> so, drove me more to want to build it myself, right? Um, and guys, it's not like I haven't tried different things. You know, I've tried many different companies. Trust me, you know, I mean, since, since I graduated, I tried to start our own, you know that, that grocery gateway, you can yeah, order grocery groceries, gate, yeah. try doing that. You know how you can order hot lunches into your schools for kids, yes. like a, like a yeah. crispy kitchen, whatever it is, right? I started that before too. Uh, I had reasons why it all ended up going down, whatever. Um, long travel. story, yeah. I had the travel business, I, did, I sold vitamins, I, done, I sold the weight loss, I doubled in insurances, I tried doing real estate investments, and I tried even becoming a realtor before. And I've tried different things. And that's why I believe that sometimes the person that works really hard 
sometimes it's not even like their their work ethics. It's more of their business that they were in was the wrong one. Like me and Usana was the wrong business. Yeah. Me and PTN was the wrong business because the pay was so low, right? So whereas we have the best company on the planet Woo. today. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. So um yeah, so uh um, there's a few more things here uh, again, but we're talking about, you know, become the leader that you'd want to sponsor yourself. That's the main thing. And yeah, that concludes our training today on the tripod of belief. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Great job. Thank so you. I'm just going to stop the recording. Um, and then perhaps if people have questions, they can ask the question. So let me just uh, figure out how do we stop, stop sharing. First of all, and um, stop recording. Stop recording.